Bonjour, everyone. Hi, this is Nesha Vilkat. Welcome to uh, Star Nations, uh, the main fan page here, public fan page. And welcome to my meditation room. It's time for our daily meditation um, so that we can uh, be grounded, protected, and centered for today. Um, and so I started just a wee bit early. Uh, than usual because I have I wanted to get some of the housekeeping stuff done before we actually started with the meditation. For instance, <laughs> I'm lighting the sage. I do have the candle on the altar already lit, and I'm lighting the sage right now. There we go. There we go. See. Get the sage lit. There we go. And then I thought maybe um, we could do the, oh, what was that? That was interesting. I don't know if you saw that. There was something like an orb um, going to my, see, it'd be my left, down, down here on, your, on the screen. That was interesting. All right, so spirit, you know, spirit's always with us anyway, right? We just have to turn our attention to it. All right, so um, what I'm going to do, um, welcome everybody that's in the live chat with me getting ready for our meditation this morning. Um, and those that will be watching by the, the recorded uh, version, welcome to you too. And uh, what I'm going to do is, um, because we don't um, do the, the regular, normal, um, promotion um, like we do with all the other shows that we have here at Star Nations. Um, I have to pause just for a moment in order to send the link of the live stream out to a few people um, and also to the groups. And so it takes me just a moment. And I'm going to be asking you, inviting you actually, to help me with this because, um, like I said, we're not doing our regular promotional stuff. So if you know of somebody, that you believe that would enjoy or need this kind of guided meditation for grounding, centering, and protecting is just to send it over to them, whether it's through Messenger or, you know, um, on your news feed or something like that. Um, it'd be very helpful. And I am going to um, do the same thing here. I just need to find our live stream. Here we are. Turn down my sound on my phone. And I am sending it over to my newsfeed. Okay, just letting everybody know it's meditation time. And inviting them to join me. Okay, there we go. And then I have to send it over to, I don't know, Stephanie's in the house. I don't see her yet. Okay, so... Um, We'll send it over to the groups to remind the peeps, remember to join us. And meditation time. There we go. And we're gonna make sure that it goes over to the live stream shows and to the academy. Here we go. I know. I have to pause just for a moment to do this. And then I have to remember that I promised a few people that I would send it to them individually. So I see Barbara's already here, so I won't send you one, Barbara. Um, and just a couple people here. You see Polly Joe's in the house too. Hello, Polly Joe. And uh, okay, Tony. I have to remember to send it to Tony. And Annie. You know the list keeps getting longer and longer. I have to do that that bot thing so that. Um, it already goes out to everybody. And so I'm not taking up your time doing this. There, I think that's good. Good. 
All right. So today's Friday. Can you believe it that week this week has gone by really fast, hasn't it? It's March 27th, Friday, and we get to hang out together a little bit for this guided meditation. I'm hoping that this is um, helpful to you. Um, and uh, it's my way of being a service during during this uh, time of need, right? When our our normal daily routine got upended, turned on its head, inside out. Um, some people would call it Hayoka time. <laughs> that uh, what was normal, usual routine didn't uh, doesn't exist, right? And so we are finding our new normal and um, getting our feet under us, so to speak, right? And so we've been uh, probably at this, what, two weeks, right? The meditation itself time together has been a week, but I think that we probably have been um, in different stages for at least a couple weeks, maybe even three weeks. So I'm hoping that this is helpful. Yeah, Barbara's here. Hello, Barbara. Sally's here. Polly Joe. Auntie PJ's here. Your furry nephew sleeping down stairs. So, <laughs> Sally's here. Good morning, Sally. Thank you, Polly Joe, for, for sharing it to your page. Dawn's here. Hello, Dawn. Good morning to you. Marie's here. Good morning. Good morning. Stephanie's here. Tabitha is here. Tabitha, I haven't forgotten about you and your magazine. I, I just haven't had a chance to get out to the shipping place and when I did they were closed <laughs> so so I'm, I'm still gonna send it to you I actually might actually send it to you electronically like a digital copy so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that for you um, hey Rob's here thank you Rob for being here oh you did Stephanie said she sends it over to the groups thank you probably probably did it exactly at the same time because I didn't see you in the house uh, Rob said I'm isolated and only interacting online big change <laughs> he's an IT guy so he's always always sitting at his desk by himself helping people from a distance so I know right uh, Stephanie says very hey yoga definitely I got offered a job and have managed to figure out how um, out child care and in, in the craziness oh my goodness good for you yay 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 well we're gonna get started with the meditation um, and I have a surprise for you today um, as I was um, getting stuff prepared this morning working with mom right getting her her breakfast done and her taken care of and, and I even took Georgie for a little bit of a romp out in the woods and while I was out in the woods with him uh, inspiration hit you know how that happens um, since it's Friday and we've been doing this a week together the meditations um, my team would like us to ground what we have gained this week in growth and instability um, to the earth plane and how do we do that we do that through our physical bodies right and uh, and so what they would like me to do at the very end of our meditation is to pause for a moment moments and um, and turn our attention to what it feels like in our bodies to be grounded centered and balanced and protected Right. And with that, to help you along, they would like me to do a little drumming for you. And so we'll do that at the very end for a few minutes, just so that we can ground um, your experience. Uh, your, thank you, Tapitha. She goes, okay, whatever works. All right, thank you for being so patient. Um, and so um, to ground your experience to the earth plane. Okay, so, um, and it, we're not talking about which dimension earth plane, where you're at physically and recognizing what it feels like to be grounded, centered, balanced, and protected, right? And so we'll be doing that at the very end. Yay. Hello, Rochelle. Polly Jo is uh, yeah, saying congrats to Steph. Um, hey, Jean's here too. Um, she says, Polly Joe keeps re replying on Polly Joe's thing. Oh, I see. I, I wonder. Little little wonkiness there, huh? And Lynn's here too. Good morning, Lynn. Okay. Now, um, for those that have been with me all week long, you know the drill by now, right? You're, if, you're, if you're seated, if you're seated, um, you're going to want to have your feet flat on the floor. 
your arms and legs uncrossed and um, your back straight as possible. Okay, so we want you to be comfortable, um, but to be as um, your your spine as straight as possible, which means you may have to pull, put some pillows behind you. If you're if you have short legs, <laughs> you're going to have to scooch up to the edge of the chair or the couch to be able to have your feet flat on the floor. Right? Okay. Um, if you are seated on the floor, which is good, I'm seated on the floor right now, and you can have your legs straight out, like kind of like how little kids sit right? We want to make sure you're in open circuit so you don't want your legs crossed. All right? And um, if you're, if you want, you can lay down on the floor or on the bed, on the couch, doesn't matter. I'm not showing anything. Okay, so you're not going to miss anything on the screen. Um, as long as you can hear my voice, that's all that really matters. Um, if you're on the floor, and thank you for Stephanie for this one, she gave us a little tip the first time out, is that you can be on the floor with your back on the floor. Um, if, you, if you do this by a wall, you can put your legs up um, on the wall, right? So you're kind of like an L shape. That will take the, um, the tension off from your low back. Or you can pull out a chair and um, put your legs on the seat of the chair so that your calves are on the seat. Your, and um, your back is on the floor, right? That helps relieve some of that pressure on your low back. Now, this meditation doesn't take long. It's about 15 minutes. I probably talk longer than we do the meditation. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to be asking you to um, take a deep breath in just a second. And for those that are just joining us, a deep breath, we really want you to be able to um, feel that deep breath all the way down into your diaphragm, which means when you fill up your lungs, your tummy is actually going to come out a little bit. Your diaphragm is going to come out a little bit, okay? And you're going to fill up your lungs completely. And you're going to hold it just for a second. And then on the exhale, you're really going to blow it out, all right? What that does, it helps you to relax, but it also brings you to the present moment, all right? Okay, here we go. Big deep breath in, really filling up your lungs. Okay. And at the very top of that breath, you're just holding it just for a second. And then on the exhale, really blowing it out. Okay. There you go. Good. All right. Now we're going to do one together. All right. Big deep breath in. Holding it at the top and exhaling. <laughs> there. Good one. Hmm. Now just breathing easy and naturally. What I'd like you to do is to call your name, your full name, birth name, you can include your married name in that, if you have a spirit name, to call it to the four directions, calling all of you home to you, to your physicalness, okay? To each direction, east, south, west, and north. Beneshikwe. 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 And gathering all of those aspects of yourself, bringing them home to the present moment, and pulling them into your heart. So as you're, you're as present as you possibly can be. Good. Good. Turning your attention to Grandfather Sky. In Potawatomi, it's Gamisho Masay Nan. The moon, the stars, the sun, all the planets. The creator, 
God, Goddess, The Great Mystery, The Prime Creator, The Creator of Creators, calling to Grandfather Sky to come to you, to sense, feel, see the Creator's blessings flowing down through your crown chakra, the top of your head, that golden sparkling light of the Creator's blessings and love flowing down through your third eye flowing down through your throat chakra, that golden sparkly light of love and blessings from the creator flowing down through your high heart, down through your heart chakra, flowing down through your solar plexus down through your sacral the creator's golden sparkly light of blessings and love flowing down through your root chakra down through both hips flowing down through your thighs, through your knees, down through your calves, your ankles, and down into your feet. The Creator's golden light of blessings and love flowing down through you. And with your intention, intending that golden sparkling light to flow down through your insteps of both your feet down into Grandmother Earth. Flowing all the way down to her core, to her heart connecting you to Grandmother Earth. Sensing, feeling, seeing the golden sparkling light flowing through you, having a gentle spiral clockwise for women, counterclockwise for men, flowing down through you in a gentle spiral all the way down into Grandmother Earth, balancing you, centering you, connecting you to Grandmother Earth. Taking a nice, easy, deep breath in, and as you exhale, turning your attention to Grandmother Earth in Potawatomi, Kokmis Kikan, our Grandmother Earth. Telling her that you love her. Grandmother, I love you. I love you. And asking her to please assist you to come to you
sensing, feeling, seeing her love and her blessings coming up through the instep of your feet, her green light of love, sparkling green light coming up through your calves, through your knees, up through your thighs, up through your hips, Grandmother Earth, green sparkling light of love and blessings coming up through your root chakra, through your solar plexus, I'm sorry, your sacral, <laughs> and then your solar plexus. The love and blessings from Grandmother Earth up through your heart chakra, in your high heart. through your throat chakra and your third eye, up through your crown chakra at the top of your head. Grandmother Earth's blessings, her green sparkling light of love coming up through you. And with your intention, sending that love and blessings from her all the way up to the sun to the central sun, connecting you to Grandfather Sky, Gamisha Masay Nan, to the Creator, God, Goddess, Great Mystery, the Prime Creator. The Divine Father, the Divine Mother, and you, their divine child, creating the Holy Trinity right here on earth. Feeling their love flowing through you and how much you love them. Take in a nice, easy, deep breath in. And as you exhale, calling to you your full spiritual team, the whole team. Calling them to come close and asking those on your spiritual team that assist you with protection to step forward. and to create the circle of protection around you in all its frequencies, 360 degrees all the way around you, and allowing in only those energies that are meant for your highest good. And then asking your guardian angel to be your bouncer, to double check all the ideas of those energies coming through, that they truly are meant for your highest good. And if they're not, to have them escorted away to a plane justly earned. Now you have a moment to ask your full team, your full spiritual team, for any assistance that you may need today or this evening, depending on where you're at around Grandmother Earth. And I'll give you a moment to have a conversation with your spiritual team.
Good. Thanking them. Taking a nice, easy, deep breath in. And as you exhale, coming back to our present time here, back to your living room or your den or wherever you happen to be in your home, back to our my meditation room, also known as the medicine room. Right? Good. Now that we're prepared, prepared for our day or evening, depending on where you're at, um, and remember um, that... Uh, most most grounding, protecting, centering meditations like this last about 12 hours, depending on what you ingest, okay? Um, and so you'll want to do another round 12 hours from now, whether that's your evening or whether or not that's your day. Um, and you, we have now a week's worth of um, recorded uh, meditations here at Star Nations, right here, doing the same thing. And so you can select any one of them um, to assist you if you need assistance. Okay? All right. So, as promised, I am going to do a little drumming for you. And this is this is what um, my team was telling me this morning, is that, uh, you're welcome, Marie. Hi, Deborah. Um, is that just to, to take a few minutes here to, um, to really turn our attention to what it feels like in our physical body to be grounded, centered, balanced, and protected. And when we do that, when we turn our attention to it and what, what it feels like in our physical body, we're grounding that to the earth plane. Okay? And so just taking just a, a deep breath and in and just ex exhaling and turning your attention to your physical body right what does it feel like what does it feel like and where do you feel that groundedness um that centeredness in your physical body and being grateful that you can sense feel or see that right so we're just going to do just a, a few minutes of drumming okay now I don't even have a drum beater here. They're all up at the academy. So I get to use my hand, and we're using um, my 22-inch buffalo drum. So here we go. <clears throat> we're calling to the drum mother to help us with this, to assist me, leading the way. Okay, here we go. can put your hand on your heart so you can feel your own heartbeat.
That was fun. That was fun. All right. Well, a little drumming this morning, too. That was fun. I love drumming. So um, let's see. Gene is saying, um, really feel the effects of your meditation. Hope I bring okay energy. Thank you. You're welcome, Gene. Believe that you will and you will. It's all good. Barbara says, saying, thank you so much. Lots of love. Thanks you. Rob is saying, thank you. And Polly Jo is saying, the highest and best, Jean. Yeah, absolutely. So now we're ready. You have grounded what it feels like to be grounded for yourself to, to the earth plane, wherever you're at. And so, um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. Now that you're all prepared, no matter what um, the day brings for you or the evening brings for you, you're in a good way. All right, so um, we'll meet back here tomorrow morning at uh, 10 a.m. Um, Central Time. And so you guys can figure that out, what that is in your time zone. And we'll do another round of grounding, protecting, uh, centering. Right? And, uh, yeah, have a great day, you guys. And thank you so much for being here and taking care of yourselves by uh, doing this meditation so that we're, you're in a position to be able to be of service, not just yourself, to yourself, but to your friends and your family, um, to your community, right? Okay. All right. Bama Mina. That's Potawatomi 4 until we see each other again. Love you guys.